Richard, and I saw lots of pictures in the paper this week about that royal premiere on Monday night. Oh, yes, that was fun, actually. Mm. It's the first time I've met... Uh, 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 <laughs> Charles and I. Funny thing was, uh, when, when we were sitting down for the thing, for the, for the actual film, we were sitting in the front row of the Royal Circle, I suppose it is, and um, my girlfriend, Brogan Lane, was sitting next to Di, and uh, I was a little late because I had to go to the bathroom. And <laughs> everything's falling apart these days. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and so I, I crept in, you know, and, and Brogan is already sitting, sitting next to Di, and I sat down, and, and Charles was a little confused. He said, uh, uh, where are we sitting? And I said, well, I think just over here, actually, there's a big precipice there, nothing there at all. I thought he was making a joke about that. And I sat down, about five minutes into the film, I thought, oh, yes, I should be next to Princess Di and Brogan should be the other one. You know, boy, girl, boy, girl, and I forgot all about that. But, you know, protocol does tend to uh, trickle down one's leg at a certain level. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but we obviously also saw the photographs of Brogan. Now, we know that you have an eye for a very pretty lady. No. She looks lovely. How did you meet her? Oh, um, well, actually, she was on a film um, uh, uh, four years... Was it four years ago, dear? <laughs> yeah, about four years ago. And uh, <laughs> she's back there somewhere, <laughs> eating sandwiches. And uh, Dried strawberries, even, yes. Uh, even dried strawberries. Mm. And whoever else, I don't know and don't care. Uh, <laughs> And anyway, we, oh, it's, it's a jet lag, you know, against you. And uh, she, was, uh, she was on a film called Six Weeks. She was doing sm a small part. And I... <laughs> and, uh, is that what you gave her? Yeah, I mean, six uh, weeks. Is that what I gave her? Six weeks. <laughs> Did you hear that? I meant uh, for six weeks. Uh, is that what I... No, no, I actually was quite besotted, but we didn't actually get together till recently. We happened to meet in an, in an L.A. restaurant, and uh, Los Angeles restaurant, and... And <laughs> oh, it's funny. When I first went to LA and did a stage show, I went backstage, and uh, in LA, and, and they had all the fire stuff on the on the wall, axes and fire hoses, and it said La Fire Department. <laughs> I didn't read it as LA. It was La Fire Department. Oh. I'm home. I'm home. <laughs> Slightly to the ladies, though, because you know we we all like the gossip and, and all. Oh of that. yeah, I mm. know. Oh, yeah. But you're you're rather partial. I mean, I say this as a five foot one, five foot two. You're rather partial to a tall lady. Well, they're all taller than me. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I'm five foot two and a half. You know. We're yeah. the same size. We, we are, are the same size. size. Mm. Yes, I know. Well, I don't really. I, I've not got any uh, preference. I mean, in fact, uh, my 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 wives were five foot five each, which is not. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's not going it too much, I don't think. Uh, Brogan is five eight, isn't it, Dad? <laughs> um, no, I, it just happens that everybody is taller than I am, mainly. And God, I, I love it. I'm going to love it. No problems about height, mind you, in the new movie. No, 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 not in the new movie, Santa Claus. I was faced on the first day with the, the disgusting experience of facing 500 elves, all my size. <laughs> I came out in a cold sweat when I first put that elf costume on. It's slightly, slightly depressing to go out on the set and see all, all these small men. You suddenly feel a chill, you know, I don't know what it is. But it was, it was fun doing that film, mainly. Uh, if, if you want to go into the business, you're dreaming of Hollywood. You've made it in Hollywood, very much made it there. Is it as accurate as we imagine from this side of the Atlantic? We hear of all these wild parties, the social life, the orgies. <laughs> True. Oh, you've, you've hit a nerve there, Gloria. Um, no, the, I, I don't know. It, it, Hollywood is really a, you know, a, just a term. It doesn't really exist as it did in the old days. And, um, and I think California gets rather maligned in the process. But uh, it is extraordinary going there and, and seeing all the old stars like Jimmy Stewart and uh, Fred McMurray and... Uh, so forth. I met uh, Gene Kelly there. Now, Gene Kelly, I've loved from an early age. I, when I was a kid, I used to, you know, play him on the gramophone and try and look down the speaker to see how he was singing and, and all that stuff. And so I have enormous, enormously affectionate memories. And I went up to him at a party. I'm getting excited just thinking about it. <laughs> and, uh, and I wanted to, I started saying, listen, you know, I have always, and before I said, he said, don't let's talk about my films, let's talk about your films. And he started talking about 10. And I thought, and it was really strange for me to see an idol there, and he actually knew I existed, you know, and it was, it was thrilling. It's good, yeah. And uh, it, it's wonderful to see these, these actors in the flesh, and out of the flesh, of course. 
Really? Yeah. In, in, any in particular? Uh, well, I, mean, I, I suppose I've, I've run into quite a few of them now, I suppose, uh, you know, Frank Sinatra and, um, uh, oh, that's it. Well, yeah. <laughs> The other least symbol, I mean, apart from yourself, to, to come out of Hollywood recently, was oh. Rambo. Now what, now, what does Rambo have that you don't have? Uh, Rambo, what does he have that I don't? Well, <laughs> uh, tone, basically. Tone. A lot of tone uh, on the pectoral muscles, I think. Um, no, uh, I'm doing, <laughs> starting to do a Scottish sly. Uh, uh, Goof it, goof it. No. I, uh, <laughs> Uh, he's uh, he's an extraordinary man. I mean, to build up his body like that, I just I just can't be bothered. Have you tried it? <laughs> uh, no, I've not tried it. No, I, I've 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 uh, done the odd diet. You know, you get sort of you, you live there long enough, and uh, you get bamboozled with diets. So I used to eat. Uh, actually, it worked for me. I used to eat a big breakfast, trout and Brussels sprouts and <laughs> and broccoli. It was great. I used to be I would, used to be uh, very unhungry till about five, and then I used to have uh, a couple of bars of chocolate. But it's a great diet, it used to work. It's a very boring anecdote, but it kept me safe. <laughs> when you're on the beach, when you have this uh, great beach house, it's, it's available, by the way, July the 17th for two weeks. <laughs> well, what, what do you do on the beach? What do I do? Well, <laughs> oh, I get me bucket and spade. And, uh, <laughs> no, I don't really do much. Um, I don't really go out there very much, as a matter of fact. I've, I've got a, a very modest little house on the beach, um, and uh, I'm not in Malibu where all the all the uh, big knobs hang out, you know. <laughs> but, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm at the Marina del Rey Peninsula, which is sort of about an hour down the coast, and uh, I just like to look out at the water. I've never lived on, on the water. Um, there is a joke there somewhere, but I think... <laughs> and uh, I, I just love it. I love the weather. I mean, I don't miss the seasons. I, I, I you know, I don't really miss autumn and all that stuff. But when you do come back to, to Britain, I mean, is there anything that you like to do while you're here or even buy while First you're here? First thing I do is get some Cox's Orange Pippins. <laughs> I love Cox's Orange Pippins. If I had those out in California, I wouldn't eat chocolate. I adore them and uh, that's the first thing I do. I now feel sort of slightly dislocated. I come back and I, and I feel, I see all, everything changing, you know. I, I go to uh, different places and I see different buildings and different people. It makes me feel a little strange and a little sad somehow because it, it is, I think as you get older that happens to you. you so know? are you lost to Britain forever do you think? You're going to stay in the States? Well I, I happened to be there just by accident. You know I was doing a show for two years with Peter Cook and we, we ended up in 75 in Los Angeles and I was with Tuesday World who wanted to start doing films again in Los Angeles. So we stayed for a year and over that period of time, oh, I can see that wind up. <laughs> Getting very boring now, you know. <laughs> Get the dogs out. You know. <laughs> oh, my peripheral vision is still here, you see. <laughs> Peripherally, I'm wonderful. But um, anyway, Tuesday wanted to stay, and I, I gradually acquired friends and a love for the place. And it's not the best place in the world to look at. In fact, it's a shambles. But I, I stay there because I, I love some people out there and uh, I got me piano and that's about all I need. All you need in life. Except for some coxes. Some coxes. <laughs> well done, it's smashing to see you. I, we, we give you 15 out of 10. Thoroughly enjoyed seeing you today. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lovely. I love it. Thank you.